I wanted to make a little bit of a life update video because, well, I live a double life. By day, I'm a math professor. I teach thousands of students in person at the University of Victoria up here in Canada. But by night, as you all know me, I am a YouTuber. I make lots of math education videos. And here's my core problem. I really love being a professor. I love working with my students. I love making strong connections. I love seeing them grow over the course of a semester or years. But I also really love being a YouTuber. I love being able to create videos and to share the most interesting and coolest parts of mathematics and with the massive audience that YouTube enables to be part of your mathematical journeys. I just, I really struggle to do both of those. I've actually only managed to make two videos in all of 2024 so far. And the real reason is just that I always tend to put my professor job first. As I say, I love my professor job. It's my like main career that I anticipate doing through the majority of my life. And I, I try to do a really good job of it. I'm even actually going up for a promotion from assistant to associate professor, hopefully at the end of the year. And between that and having a couple of kids, I am really struggling to find the time to dedicate to YouTube. Okay, so here's the actual announcement. I am going on study leave. And what this means is that for the next 15 months, I am not teaching a single course. I don't have to go into the university every single day. And instead, I'm gonna be focusing my time with my number one priority professionally being YouTube. It's a bit hard to describe how excited I actually am for this. I mean, as I mentioned before, I really believe in the power of YouTube, and I think it's important that in our social spaces that mathematics are part of those conversations so that people can discover a love of mathematics, they can get interested in mathematics, and it sustains their enthusiasm. Or, you know, I read all of your comments, maybe you want to watch some of these videos just so that you can get through some of your courses without a really negative taste towards mathematics out of it. And for these reasons, I, I think doing things on YouTube is really important. And I'm really happy that I, I feel like I finally have the time and the dedication to give YouTube what it deserves. Now, I, I actually didn't start out putting videos on YouTube with the intention of being like a YouTuber or that it would blow up. I was teaching this small online course before the pandemic. And it just had 20 students in it. We were going to be doing some discrete mathematics and YouTube was just like a place where you could go and put videos. I didn't think that anybody other than my 20 students would watch them. For a long time, nobody but my 20 students did watch them. But a couple of those videos, like I remember one on Bayes' theorem in particular, well, it got picked up by the YouTube search algorithm and has now gone on to do, you know, well over a million views and started really propelling the channel to success. And, and now, well, I wish we just passed 400,000 subscribers. So thank you to absolutely everybody who subscribed. And it's just kind of like unbelievably large in comparison to where it started. And as the channel's growing, I felt like I deserve more to give like a real shot at actually being a YouTuber and not this sort of math professor who only occasionally does a little bit of YouTube on the side. And, and it's for that reason that I think I'm, I'm very excited to actually be able to focus a little bit more on YouTube, at least for the next year or so. Okay, so let's talk about content. Like what should you expect coming out on the channel? Actually, my channel really has had two types of content. My older content was all stuff that I was making for my own online classes or my flipped classes in person. And so these were videos on standard core course content for first and second year math courses like calculus, differential equations, and so on. But then as the channel grew, I have started really focusing on what I sometimes call my cool math series. These are just general interest math videos that I hope you really like that, that often take something really cool and interesting in mathematics and try to put it out there for sort of a wider audience who might really like to sort of dive into the mathematics behind these interesting ideas. In this sort of more outreach and general interest content, I'm really inspired by some of the greats like Three Blue One Brown and Number File. And I've really enjoyed being able to make videos that sort of in that domain of trying to really uh, get a sense of appreciation for mathematics. You're not watching that video because you need it for a course, you're watching that video because it's just intrinsically interesting. 
this is maybe getting in the weeds, but the mechanism for those videos is actually completely different from the course content. Well, the course content is primarily viewed by people searching on YouTube for something like Bayes Theorem. Content like uh, the video I did a little while ago on cosine of cosine of cosine of cosine of cosine, which went nice and viral, there's an actual mathematics behind that called the Banach Fixed Point Theorem. It's a lovely theorem. But the reason that people are watching the cosine of cosine of cosine of cosine video is because it tells a really interesting story. And all the views that it gets are from the YouTube recommendation algorithm, you know, going viral as, as we can put it here, as opposed to people searching for that specific piece of content. Anyways, what my plan is, is to try to go forward actually a little bit with both of them. The, the outreach content, the stuff trying to create a, an interest and appreciation for mathematics that you will all enjoy, well, that is definitely going to be the core and my number one priority. But I also want to work on my catalog of courses. Like, I want people to be in a wide range of math courses all around the world and to have really high quality videos explaining the content. And so I, I want to fill in my catalog with more of those standard course content. So you'll get a sense with the videos. Some of them are trying to show some really interesting piece of mathematics. And then others might get into the weeds on a very sort of specific niche topic a little bit quickly. And it's okay if you want to skip past some of those ones. And I, I kind of want to experiment with other formats as well. I mean, even this video where I just sort of talk a little bit about my life is definitely an experiment. And so if you have any ideas, like what do you want to see from me as a math professor here on my generally mathematics, but sometimes education focused channel, what would you like? Well, I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. As for a schedule, well, I don't have any fixed schedule in mind. My intention is to go a little lighter over the summer. My analytics always dip in the summer and pick up in the fall and the spring. But I want to release, you know, a couple videos a month is basically my, my goal. I'm not focused really on quantity. I really want to have some really quality videos here. Uh, again, three blue, one brown is a great example of quality over quantity. And so, yeah, I, I plan to release a high quality math outreach video every, you know, two to three weeks, let's say. And then I might slip in some more standard course content videos in between that, particularly as we get back into the school year. Okay, for those who are curious, I thought I would unpack a little bit about what it's like to be a professor and, and how my YouTube life sort of fits in with my professor life. I'm an assistant teaching professor. And what this means is that I spend more of my time focused on teaching than I do on research or scholarship. Specifically, 70% of my job is meant to be teaching. So showing up to classes and, you know, marking final exams and all of that stuff. 20% of my job is what's called service. So that might be working on committees at the university, contributing to the department, and importantly, outreach, of which YouTube is what I category. It's part of my 20% that's meant for service. And then finally, 10% of my job is meant for scholarship. And these days I don't do a lot of mathematical research. My scholarship is all in math education work. Uh, for example, I've worked on writing an open source education textbook for differential equations. I'll put the link to that down in the description. So when I've made videos for my courses, like online or flipped courses, then they fit into that 70% chunk. But since the pandemic, I haven't been doing that a lot. And so most of my YouTube videos have fit within that 20% that service chunk. And that's why I'm so excited to be going on study leave because now you can wipe out the 70, 20, 10 buckets and I can just focus on the thing that I am most passionate about, which in this case is YouTube. Honestly, I, I sometimes feel a little awkward with all of my work on YouTube because it's pretty non-traditional. This is not what most academics and most professors are doing, focusing on social media and creating videos and all of that. However, I'm very fortunate that my chair and my dean and the people in the university uh, have typically actually been really positive about my work on YouTube. And, and actually, I was extremely fortunate recently to win, it's kind of an announcement, I suppose, the 2024 uh, PIMS Education Prize. This is a, a big award for professors who are in the Pacific Northwest and is focused on people who are trying to raise public awareness about mathematics, which of course is exactly what my goal is with YouTube. So it's a good example of how sort of uh, professional awards in my discipline are sort of connecting in with my sort of social media work on YouTube. And I'm trying to do more and more of that as time goes on. I'm trying to tie those two things together.
The only downside is there is a little bit of a salary reduction for going on study leave. But honestly, I'm really fortunate because I have this sort of side hustle of YouTube and I get money from YouTube from ads, from sponsorships, from channel members. A, a massive thank you to anybody who's ever joined as a channel. You people are amazing. It, it really does make a big difference. And so my hope is that by focusing on YouTube over this period of time, I'll, I'll hopefully try to make up or close to making up the difference in salary. But either way, I just, I love it and I, I get to be focused and passionate about what I've been wanting to do for a really long time, which is finally have that time to, to give YouTube what I think it really deserves. All right, so that is my news. Uh, lots of new content coming out. If you have any thoughts about what you would like to see, please do leave them down in the comments below. I'd, I'd really love to hear your thoughts. With that said and done, give the video a like for the YouTube algorithm. Uh, we're all mathematicians here. We know how important algorithms are. And regardless, we'll do some actual math in the next video.